I see, I know you, you, you're a veteran now. Yeah. All right, uh, <laughs> we need to ask this podcast is episode 39. Ooh. I think 39, oh, yeah. yeah, we hey, get up boy. there. We oh, in our boy. 30s now, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah we'll be on our way. But today, we got some young ladies in here to talk about a lot of shit today, a very mixture of topics. Um, I said a very mixture, mm-hmm. uh, uh, a mixture of topics today we got going on. We got some business stuff. And then, of course, when we do these panels, we got some relationship shit. Because, of course, everybody needs some some keys, some heads up. You never know who listening, who might be, you know, take some checks off the checklist on this shit. So, keep them informed. So, today we got Sha Ray, a.k.a. Lovebird C. Okay. We, <laughs> we got Morgan, the glitter one. Oh, hey, y'all. The, it's bad, the, the vibe. <laughs> Bad box, what is the box? Black b- bag move. I'm sorry, crazy. I want to say it right. I was, about to, I was about to switch it up. I'm sorry, That's I want you to say it crazy. Correctly. It is the black, black box. box hatter. Yes. Okay. I, didn't I say it right? You put you you made it like real like real posh. I just put emphasis. I put emphasis on it. Yeah, you put emphasis on it. I dig it. I appreciate it. No problem. Black box we got is. we got Britney B, aka B Rich, aka <laughs> Britney Beauty. That's the whole title of the line. Uh, rich cocktails too. Rich cocktails too. Don't forget, bartending the services do our thing. Taste that sangria. So, uh, before we get into our um, relationship shit, everybody kick off what they got going on. We usually wait till the end to do this, but we gonna start off with everything y'all got going on, and then we got some shit we need to address too. So before we get to that, before we get to that, sorry, what you got going on? You had this nice event where you was schooling the people yeah. on how to do this social media yeah, thing. Yes, yes, so Very that's smart that's, move. Yes, that's my specialty, y'all. So teaching people how to essentially catch the vibe, you know, bring the energy, how to take proper Instagram pictures. So I do have an event coming up um, November. So y'all just be on the lookout. Okay. I'm excited to, to figure out how to do it, you know, color style. Right. That's kind of like the hindrance, but... Be on the lookout for that. I really, really want to bring people into different spaces. So okay. Be on the lookout for that's that. That's what's up. That's what's up. We need that now because now people got to take these shit so different now because yeah. all this stuff. So. That's what's up. And I ain't gonna lie, I'm some shit with taking pictures. That's why I don't really post yeah, none. So I'm some saying. shit taking them. Also, y'all, I do one-on-one <laughs> sessions. For real, if y'all, if okay. y'all don't want to wait for the class, y'all can definitely book Mad me. I have my website. Y'all can book me. That's what's for, up. What's, what's the, the website? website? It's lovebirdseed.com. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because I can't take them for nobody, and I'll be yeah, looking crazy the in them, too. So. Don't y'all hate friends that can't take y'all fucking pictures right? Like, what the fuck are you? I'm giving you these like, <laughs> pictures. That's kind of how it started. It's like, my friends cannot take my pictures. Uh-huh. That's like, oh! Not y'all. I said, oh. I'm <laughs> my friend is here, and she, <laughs> yeah, she tried to say we business. don't take her how pictures. How my business started, which is years ago. Okay. Uh, my friends, you okay. know, in the past didn't know how to take my picture, so I found it was a space to create okay. to say, hey, let me teach people how to properly do this. It's right. a whole, it can take you to the next level. We don't really understand or realize like how Instagram can really, you know, take us up. But yeah. just by the visuals. You know, it's not always about yeah. oh I'm, what you're posting, it's how you're posting, right, how right, you look right, and how right. people tap into it's it. everything for yeah, real. Yeah, so how right people, people exactly the yeah. colors, yeah, your angles. It's it's a whole lifestyle yeah. and it can yeah. really get you to the top. So. It did it definitely that was yeah. smart. That's why I said it was smart. Yeah, people so, that you know, I was like big on that. So if y'all wanna book me one on one, lovebirdsy dot com. I'm around, I'm around. <laughs> when I'm in town, y'all, when I'm in town. <laughs> Question: Do you think do you do do you think it's it be more women than men? Always, it'd be both always, though. always. Well, that's, yeah, I feel like like you. Okay. You know, <laughs> someone who's like, oh, fuck a picture. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, but yeah. you want that drip. You yeah, want that true, 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 You want that true, drip, the drip in them pictures. Right, so right, right. It's and it's a fun thing. I think also like a date thing. Like mm. it's it could be different ways. Men are definitely the people who stay away from it, but. <laughs> You know, it is what it is. All right, okay. Is is what it is. Check it out, yo. Check it out. <laughs> B, we going to hit Morgan last. We going to, because Morgan got a lot to say. So, B, talk to us about uh, what you got going on. Um, love Cabo and Prosecco. That's all I can really say. It sells out extremely fast. Like, I'll be saying that. I'll be saying I that. hit that button, like, all right, it's in stock. And 20 it's minutes gone. later, it's gone. So, um, Boom. next free stock is September 25th. Uh, I'm adding two colors mm-hmm. to it. One is called Rich Girl. One is called Pinky Swear. Um, mm-hmm. And I think that will complete my the lip gloss part of it. So next will probably be uh, matte lipsticks. Just looking for the perfect one. You know, the kind that's not over drying your lips. 
Oh, and um, I still do my mobile bartending services, Rich Cocktails, and the kids version as well. Okay. And um, next step for Brittany Beatty would be in-person sales, so I'm working on a venue for that. Okay. Awesome. What made you get into that? Um, initially, my passion is eyebrows. Mm -hmm. um, I used to always get comments like, oh, how you feeling your brows? Oh, like, hey, this is what I use, X, Y, Z, this and that. So a year ago, I was like, I'm going to come out with my own eyebrow pencil. And then um, at the time, my old manager, she was like, you have really nice lips. You should do your own lip gloss. Mm -hmm. And I was like, mm, I don't know. Mm -hmm. And then during the pan, well, before the pandemic, but I really put the work in during the pandemic. Like, all right, I got 50 different lip glosses. I need to pick out what works for me. So once I start narrowing down the colors, I start putting them on. I said, all right, this is what we want to do. And originally, it was supposed to come out in February, mm -hmm. but due to the pandemic and the vendors that I had, it was closed for like two months. So I'm in just like, wait oh, a minute, man. this yeah. is not happening the way I wanted it to right. happen. Yeah. But um, push comes to shove, it happened. Um, the girls love it. Mm -hmm. And the I ain't gonna say fame, but the popularity is new to me because I really don't like to be put on the spot. Okay. I, really don't like to be like, hey, it's yeah, me, yeah. but um, yeah. I'm loving it, <laughs> thank God for it all right. the time, and um, much, much more to come. That's for stuff. I, I see, like I said, I see a lot of people posting it, so yeah. it's definitely, definitely, definitely exactly. going. Exactly. It, it, exactly. it looks like it's doing its thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's doing mm -hmm. what it's supposed to do, in the name of Jesus. Give <laughs> <laughs> God the glory. God get the glory. <laughs> So what, explain the uh, explain the kids uh, part of the, the cocktail thing. Um, well, I know well it, it mimics um, like sugar factory drinks, you know, okay. with the dry ice and the smoky effect. But you know, you can do spritzes for kids. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I haven't really. Uh, I would like to do like a cotton candy station. You mm -hmm. know how they do like the, uh, the extravagant. Yeah. yeah, like you know, make mm -hmm. it look real vibe by boom. But mm -hmm. I mean. A kid part of be lit. You have a whole mobile bar because yeah. I bring my bar. It's real okay. cute. It glows up. It's an LED bar. It has my name on it. And it's just a good fixture to have at a party. Okay. So the kid versions be everything except alcohol. Okay. Everything mm -hmm. would be um, virgin. Right, right. Yeah. That's, 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 different. Different. that's That's real different. different. Yeah, it is. That's real right. different. <laughs> So, Morgan, what you got going on? Talk about these hex that keep oh. selling out so quick. Can't oh. nobody get their hands it's on so them. Stressful. <laughs> it's so stressful. So stressful. I'm so good stressed stress. out. It's, no, I'm joking. I'm, I'm being, <laughs> what is it, facetious? Um, but no, it's good. I dropped my Beehive collection. I'm on live right now, so I'm trying to make my life. Okay. Um, I dropped my Beehive collection yesterday. Um, and this one that I have on now, the burgundy one, sold out like literally before like me. That's what's up. Um, so that Boom. was like wow. And then I reached my my goal for that day. I'm not I'm not sold out, so y'all can still cop up the bur the burgundy one is sold out. <laughs> but there's so, four colors. But there the are four color. other three other colors yeah. though. Mm -hmm. Um, but I reached my goal for that day, just what I wanted to do in that day. I reached it like before nine o'clock. That's so yesterday, so that was lit. Um, that's more to celebrate. Um, so if y'all want to cop one, keep <laughs> it. Uh, you can go to www.blackboxhatters.com. Um, it's free shipping. Uh, just and it's a black business okay. and support. I've been on this for five years now. Um, and uh, this is probably the most like lit year that I had, which is crazy because we're in the middle of a pandemic. Right. Um, but the pandemic actually helped me to focus mm -hmm. on okay. it and had more time to actually like create content and do the different things that I want to do and develop and how I want to develop my brain. Um, so it's a lot of work that go into it and I'll be up to like four o'clock in the morning every day yeah. till just doing stuff, creating stuff. Creative um, hours. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, basically the creative hours. And I mean, I feel like I get more done at night, honestly and truly. Okay. Like during the day, I'll be running around, doing other stuff, chilling. But as soon as the sun go down, I get busy. So, okay. um, but yeah, I came up with a drop yesterday uh, and I got a drop coming next week on a different head. Okay. So that's coming. And then after that, I got another drop. And okay. after that, I got another drop. Hell so drops. Yeah. So every every Saturday you could you should look for a drop from Black Turn your notifications on. Yeah, turn your notifications on <laughs> because I do post I do post the items up at midnight. Um so my friends in LA can have a chance to uh cop up. So I do do it at midnight, you know, Eastern Standard Time. 
And then, yeah. So shout out to all of my supporters that be up with me till 12 a.m. buying hats. And at early in the morning, say that they want the next day, buying hats. They the real ones. And <laughs> they lit. So thank what, you to all my supporters. What made you get into hats? Um, but you do, you do sell other stuff too. Yeah, you? I just started doing like the lifestyle section of it, which is like, you know, shirts and okay. stuff like that. But um, what made me get into it? You know, I've been wearing hats for like a long time though. Like I've been wearing mm -hmm. hats like since forever. But it's like I wear hats because my father, my father used to wear hats all the time. And okay. he still he still do. Mm -hmm. Um, but he used to wear like fedoras and like pork pie hats all the time, like growing up. When he was like in his twenties, he mm -hmm. literally like we're literally like the same person. Okay. Um, to a certain extent when it comes to fashion. My mother too, my mother was fly too growing up though too. She didn't wear hats, but they were both like style. Yeah, they both were like stylish, mm -hmm. and that's where I get my style from. Like okay. when they, when like you know, they were my age, or I was there, you know, whatever. Y'all know. What I mean. <laughs> yeah, we got you. Y'all get what I'm saying? They were 27 <laughs> and 26 and stuff like that. Like yeah. I was, you know, <laughs> we were dressing the same to a certain extent. Uh -huh. But um, yeah, I got my style from them, and my father always wore hats, so I kind of just kind of picked up on that, mm -hmm. and then uh, 2000 like. Late 2014, like maybe early 2015. Um, of course, my boy Larry was like, You should make hats, yo. Of course, Larry <laughs> always put that in my ear. Yeah. You should make hats, yo. Because he was at, he was actually in New York with me when I was living in New York. He was actually there with me, and we were like celebrating like New Year's or something like that. And I just picked up like a hat from like Urban Outfitters, mm -hmm. and I was like, Oh, that's fly. That, that, that. And he was like, Before he left, he was like, Yo, you should really start like just making hats. Then I went, like, literally, as soon as he left, I went to, like, you know, the fashion, I mean, not fashion district, fabric district, well, yes, fashion district, fabric district, whatever, in New York. And I just, like, picked up some pieces, and I was like, hold up, this looks fly on here, these patches. And then, ever since then, like, the uh, Letterman, the traditional, like, BDH Letterman kind of took, like, flight and had its own legs and kind of, you know, started developing that. And that's when I started, like, playing with other things, like bumblebees and other stuff, so. Okay. Um and flowers and all that. So, uh, 2015 when BBH was birthed, uh, Black Friday was birthed, and we still here. Yeah. I took a lot of breaks though, because when I'm not inspired, I don't just create nonsense. So that's what's up. That's my key. To this is also the marketing queen, guys. So also she yeah. does little graphics. Yeah, yeah. I do this is the graphics. graphics. Yeah, I her marketing graphics. is insane. So even when she doesn't have product to drop, I feel like she still keeps the people engaged mm -hmm. and entertained yeah. with her you know, marketing. So mm -hmm. don't don't forget that. Don't forget that more. Yeah, that's true too. Thank you. I appreciate you. Yeah, that's like, very you that's is that a service you provide? It is. Yes. Little graphics is yeah, actually a service. I do, I do logos. <laughs> I do flyers. I okay. do. Uh, uh, now because her see lost money <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, uh, creative content creative content manager slash uh, music manager uh, yeah. he makes me create his album covers uh, okay. so okay. Uh, create everything. Uh, yeah so I mean you know I'm an artist if people don't really know I went to the Baltimore School for the Arts so, yeah, yeah. Um, you're the only person I know that went there you I, told I, me that when we people, met in college I swear I swear I you know like, we know we didn't be in college. We met way before college. college. Like school. Something else said that. Yeah, we met in high school. school. Yeah. But yeah, that's when people always bring that school out. I only know one person that went Somebody through. literally, when I was on campus at Eastern Shore my freshman year, and I remember who it was, um, but they was like, what school you went to? You know, when you were freshman, everybody like, everybody know. Yeah, because right. they don't see, they never yeah. seen you before. And it's like, when you get to, when you go to Eastern like, Shore, right. the whole Baltimore City is there. Yeah. <laughs> so everybody like, you ain't go to Western Valley or City, you ain't go to Florida, <laughs> no And I'm like, no. Yeah. Like, you ain't go to Northern, I'm like, no. Like, you ain't go to Virgo. They was literally naming every school, and I was like, no, I went to school for the arts. And somebody literally looked me dead in my face and was like, wow. Real niggas don't go there. And I was like, uh, I have the ring on. Real niggas do go there. Yeah. Thank you. It's a lot of black people there. All they know is two pocket and Yeah, yeah so but it was fun, though. You go to school for arts, it's lit. It was the best time of like my life. So you, my mom you, born here. Okay, yo, my mom wanna lie. Hey, <laughs> Shout out to mom. Like, hey, mom. What's up, mom? <laughs> so you, you wanted to dress something more, and you do you, you still want to put that out there? Do your thing, like let it be known. Oh, see, we gonna get off because Mook didn't bring us here to talk business. I thought we was, but no, we talking everything. <laughs> let's get it. Let's get it. Let's but get it. so somebody DM me this morning. And uh, he know, is he watching? No, he not watching. It doesn't matter. But I hope he's watching. I hope he is, but he <laughs> ain't. Um, so he DM'd me this morning. I don't know this man from Adam and Eve. He asked me like, oh, you know, good morning. You know, conversation went fine. Like, it wasn't even a conversation. It was just an ask. And he was like, you know, uh, embroidery, if you can, like, point me to. 
And um, most of the time, like, honestly, I Google everything. Like, mm -hmm. I don't really <laughs> swear by nobody. Let's normalize Googling. Let's normalize yeah. Googling. Exactly. Let's normalize That's what it's there for. Yeah. Stop asking me dumbass questions in my DM. <laughs> yeah. Right, please do it. Because the, the, the time that it took you <laughs> to find my page, to you DM me, you could have been found. You could have found you sure could have. You sure could have. And the thing is, like, with business, like, when you're trying to find stuff, everything is trial and error. Mm -hmm. I done wasted so much money where I have dud, like, product that I can't even use that won't see the light of day because it's messed up because it don't look right because it look tacky, it look cheap. It's like, it is what it it's is. Gonna it's going to happen. It's going to happen. It is what it is. So this goes into stop trying to take the shortcut. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm going to be throwing in these No, go ahead. Uh, it's not what it's for. It's not what it's Please, Charles. people really put in hard work, really hours. You just heard this girl say she established herself in 2016. How many hours and how long she stays up at night. Stop coming to me yeah. or coming to people and thinking they want to give you a shortcut to something. Right, right, right. If work. you want it, you're going to go for right. it. Do the work. Do the work. I literally be up like till 4 o'clock in the morning. It's and it's not it. because I'm like not value, like not planning out my time. No, I got a whole calendar like that's literally yeah. like with notes and things to do. And I still got to have that's like maintain, maintain my life with like my family and my friends right. and just me time. Like I'm not about to be crazy and y'all ain't finna make me crazy either. <laughs> So, I'm sure that people are just wild. Yeah, they people wild. are just continue to ask wild things. And I guess somebody like, asked me, like, hey, can you help me solve my lip gloss? I'm like, I'm not, even that's, that's... Like, I'm not even seasoned with this. Right. But you know what? They feel like because you're doing so well, they think you have it all figured out. And the really? reality is, we don't. Right. We like, go through trial and error. Thank you for and having you know? so much confidence right. in me. Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> we like, on the same ground. Like, I don't make, make this. Own this own What's really good, yeah. work, and I go from there yeah. like, exactly. And also, my dog, like, what? Right. People, are weird, <laughs> you know? people are weird, it's just but but but, weird. but not to cut you off, but that just shows you how people that do stuff just because it's something to do or it's popular right now right. versus who really want it. Right. Yeah, you ain't gonna like, ask nobody, oh, like, no, you don't really want it. Then. You just, you just like, want, yeah, you don't really want it. Then that's why you asking somebody else to do it for you. So, mm -hmm. but go ahead, Morgan. Go ahead. Um, What's so yeah, story? he, 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 I want to make it quick because I, you had just stuff playing. <laughs> and I don't want to, like, you know, be no, you good. Go ahead, go ahead. We got to so the young man DM me this morning saying, you know, where the embroidery yada yada. I kept it short and sweet. So I'm like, I don't know you, bro. Like, it's fine. I don't want to be rude. Mm -hmm. I direct him into, I direct him to a, a company that I will probably potentially use. I just haven't need, needed to use them. But mm -hmm. I believe it's a black owned company. They do a lot of stuff. They do screen print and they do embroidery. It's called the Creative Group because I know y'all finna ask me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's called the Creative Group, okay. I think. The it Creative Shop or something. Um, yeah, they, it's something like that. Mm -hmm. Um, but they do a lot of stuff, and I was like, okay, you know, I'll just throw him that oop real quick. That was at 9 30, y'all, on my Sabbath. Mm -hmm. Do you know I went back and said, hold up? He didn't even say thank you. I was there, he, he just read it and left. He just read it and left. And I said, let me tell y'all, I, I wish I could read what I what I said to him, <laughs> but what I was leaving off the lies. But I was like, hey. Just to let you know, by the way, just a word of advice. I say the next time you come in my DMs, and this is like the this is like the ghetto version, but I was a little, a little <laughs> professional. Um, I was like, the next time you come into my DMs and ask some questions, I said, the least you can do is say thank you without mm -hmm. them having to ask. Yeah. Um, I said because I could have ignored you, ignored you like everybody else did or probably did. Right. Because people do be ignoring people when they ask some yeah, questions. Yeah, well, people true. just don't talk to people they don't know. Exactly. Exactly. Like I also don't just follow like random people I don't know. Right. Like we have to have some type of connection to some. <laughs> You know, to some capacity for me to want to see into your life. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. I appreciate if you want to see into mine, mm -hmm. but it's rare that, like, well, I got to, even if I don't know you personally, if I go on your page and I like what I see, I'm like, oh, she dressed cute. Oh, yeah, he, yeah. oh he seems like he be posting some content to some capacity that I'm interested in. Mm -hmm. I will follow back. I'm not, I'm not Snoopy. I don't be not following people back. Yeah, like, no, yeah, yeah. but. But, <laughs> but yeah, we weird. weird. That's what it is. But the thing is, you got control over that. You weird. That's why you get blocked. Well, I don't follow you. Bye. Okay. Like, I don't think I time for that. Um, so I said, you know, without me having to ask, why is they blocked? I said, I just want to let you know, like, I'm not being rude. I'm being just, I'm being very direct. Use your manners. Yeah, exactly. use your manners. And I said, be blessed. Mm -hmm. He's going to say, oh, I'm sorry, crying emoji face. First of all, anybody tell somebody to use the crying emoji face, they lie. We yeah. all know that. <laughs> no more. He gonna say, I'm sorry, yeah. I was texting. I said, I'm like thinking in my head, like, like why are you telling me? This? Yeah, why are you yeah. telling me? I'm like, bro, we got friends. Why are yeah. you telling me this? Like, I don't care if you were texting, just yeah. say thank you. Because what really ticked me off about it is that when I said, you're welcome, sir, to initiate, oh, my bad, I'm sorry, sis, thank you, blah, 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 the nigga hearted it. Okay, yeah, so you're, yeah. Oh, so you're comfortable. Yeah. You're comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. See, now I gotta get uncomfortable because <laughs> you're comfortable. Yeah. So he like, 
So then he like, oh, I'm sorry, I was texting. Left it on red because I don't need to engage with you yeah. again. Yeah. I don't know you. I told you I don't know you from Adam and Eve. I didn't have to respond to you at all. I could have blocked you and was like, oh, you're weird. Get out of my DMs. <laughs> like, I could have been like that, That's being not. goofy. Yeah, I could have been like that, being super goofy, but I wasn't. I was like, let me just throw my, my black guy, ooh, you know, black, you know, I'm yeah, trying yeah, to support yeah. whatever he got going on. Also, just throw this out there, Baltimore don't need no more streetwear brains, but you know, <laughs> bring that back. <laughs> another, another, another thing, all of us, we need, we need we more enough. things to close, yeah. y'all. Like, okay, one okay. thing Baltimore people do know how to do is spend money and yeah. get fly and get jiggy. Find your niche. We don't need no more businesses yeah. where, yeah, we don't want that, okay? Find your niche. Find it. Like, give me some. Figure out how to make us money versus figuring out how for us to spend our money. But that's you know, that's another subject for another day. Anyway, no point. No that's point. a good subject. It's a, it's a good down. subject. Down. Very good. <laughs> but however, he was like, then I was go by y'all. Y'all know what this fool gonna DM me and say? What? Let me say more. I gotta at least take you out to lunch. Hey. Sir, good night and goodbye. He Yo. thought that was his real hoop right That there. was probably yeah. his real hoop. <laughs> that was pretty nigga being his money. That could be the alley. That was something. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You yeah. said it. Guess what? Exactly. Guess what? Ellie who can get blocked every day of the week. Ellie, don't you? You don't even have proper manners. What do you? What do you? What can you do for me? You can't even say thank you. Your mom put you in first grade. No, you ain't even got manners to go tell me I was texting. I do not care. <laughs> and I, mean, I really do not like when people give excuses either. Like, excuses are the tools of being competent. That's um, oh, from, uh, okay. the come on now. That's okay. the poem from Evictus. Right. Like, okay. Y'all want to look up the Evictus poem, look up that, and that's okay. going to teach y'all not to give excuses at Evictus any point in y'all life. Yeah, look up that. Yeah. Um, But that teaches you about excuses. But however, yeah. I don't like people giving excuses. A lot just of gems. Like, a lot of gems. Just be like, my bad. Accountability. Yeah. Accountability. Accountability. Just acknowledge your problem and let's move. And that's why I had to tell them, like, I'm not being rude. Because people who come off, like, when you are very direct, yeah. people will be like, oh, you was being rude. It's like, no. Nah. I was, being but I was being direct. But you, you might have, but you really might have helped him moving forward, though. Because now, no, that moving, was my goal. Yeah, yeah. That so moving goal. forward, he probably never do that with anybody yeah, else. No, and later no. on, he'll thank you for that. Right. Versus, so when he send you them flowers when y'all going that date, no, and he say, "Oh no, oh no." And when I say, "Oh no," that's the girl, fine. The girl was picky. That's right. The girl right, well, in Thank you for leading us into this <laughs> conversation. Let's get to the nitty gritty. Let's get to the nitty gritty. Let's get it. Morgan, you're very picky. What is picky for you? And when, Ooh, and guys, uh, when it's dating world. Why would you start with me? I'm high. Because she just threw that oop to you and said, you picky. So it's picky. Uh, no, I'm I sure am. everybody in here got that pick. So no, we're going to go around. No, I think, yeah, I am. I heard a lot of people by myself and balls, and honestly and truly, like, I don't have time. Like, I won't, if I'm not feeling you, I'm not going to waste your time. I'm not going to waste your, your, your $180, your $200 on the meal. Like, I'm not even finna do it. I don't know. But that's fine. Friend, so you need to play games. No, I got a weak stomach. So if I don't like you, I'll be like, mm -mm, I can't even do it. I got a weak stomach. Like, so what do you like then? I like, um, come on, more. come with the list. Ooh. And yeah, be honest. No, I'm going to tell y'all, I'm going to tell y'all, I'm going to tell y'all, like, I'm about to my type. type for real, because I No. Um, <laughs> hell no. Hell no. Because anybody you think my type, that's probably somebody I gave a chance. <laughs> I gave a chance. It's a reason you gave a chance, and, though, right? It's a reason, but I was like, yeah, you shouldn't have did that. All right, well, we'll talk to <laughs> him. always the one you give a chance to and ate a pure fool. Play with your time. Um, you know, like, a little taller than me. A, <laughs> <laughs> Baltimore is like a stunt group, but it's a little taller than me. This is really not like a lot of tall men in Baltimore at all. I just, yeah, it's just not. Most Red women like tall guys. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really care though. But I mean, as long as you're taller than me. Yeah, you okay. just gotta be taller than me. Yeah, I'm gonna have heels on. You have to be taller than me. Yeah, I'm 5'11, so coming with heels in about 6'1, so yeah. So I have to just pick from what I got. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get five niggas in Baltimore. Yeah, take with me. Yeah, okay, I got you. But anyway, I ain't just Baltimore. No. So there's tall niggas in certain states? Yeah. I ain't nobody trying to hear that. New York niggas. Baltimore got New York niggas. Big ass city about five minutes here. So maybe you two, two might be tall, maybe one. The rest they give them real short. Okay. So maybe tall. It's okay though. I, I learned to deal with it. I just date who I, I date who I want. I, I think, think I think. It's about the inside. I got <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, I think, I think our homie MJ, not
Like, he's probably been the toughest man in Baltimore. Like, we all niggas be thinking he a basketball player. Like, he's literally like the tallest man here. And I'm just be like, you really tall. Like, you, like, you make me feel short. Right. It's not a lot of time. And I'm only 5'2", and I don't even feel that short. But he makes me feel very small. Like, I that's a good look. Not saying like, him, but that height is a good look. No, no, no. I don't. As long as you taller than me, like, okay, I don't okay. think he's like a giant. But like yeah. brown skin, you know, <laughs> chocolate. Yes, Have you on the they chocolate? can be dark chocolate. They can be milk chocolate. Milk chocolate. I don't want. I don't want to throw light skin people under the bus, but I like. I like. Always I like, I like brown skin. skin. Yeah. You think I'm light skin? No, you're not light skin. I don't like, like, like brown. brown. No. I like brown. I'm not, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Brown. I'm darker than you. I'm darker than you. So I ain't like brown skin. No, who's the brown skin? No, but but light skin niggas always get the, the uh, they get shit okay. on a lot. No, I, I, think, I mean I'm just saying. I think other states they they flourish, but I think okay. Baltimore is just. Damn, like, fuck with yeah, like, yeah, I don't know. I think Baltimore just like we like them dog. We like them well done. You. But however, like you know, clean cut. Taking care of. I'm not really a bed person, but if you have one, cool. But like, I don't really care about the bed thing. Okay. Cause I'm gonna be ugly under the bed. <laughs> I gotta see you. Pre- gonna never cut. I gotta see you pre bed. Cause if you ever go through a midlife crisis where you wanna cut the bed off and you look like Rufus and they can hold right underneath <laughs> it, we have a problem. Not if you hide in little beds, y'all. I'm telling y'all, be careful. Go to them pre pictures. Niggas ain't cutting hustle. these beds. No, you ain't gotta cut it. I just gotta see how you look okay. for the bed. Like, yeah, I gotta see how you look before. It's like, some niggas wanna see you pre surgery for the ones who got that surgery. The shot from. And I'm not, listen, I'm not against it. I am not against it at all. I'm not against it at all. Trust me, I'm not against it. I'm just saying. Niggas do want to know, like, what was it before? It don't matter. Wait, wait, wait. What's the point of getting surgery? But this is the same thing with the beard. If I got no, that's a bad, that's a bad, that's a bad. All right. What's the point of me? You don't need to know what I look like pre surgery. I have this ass now. The stomach is flat now. But if you don't, if you let go and you get big, the ass still won't be there. The ass still won't be there, though. But that ass ain't gonna matter if anything else get big around it, though. I mean, I'm telling you, it does, it does. I didn't see them blow up. I didn't see them get I mean, that's, um, all that. that's true, but yeah. I mean, once you get the surgery, that's, I mean, the body is. People be thinking the work is done at the surgery. No, it's no, not. no. And that, we not. can talk about that. You definitely need to keep working out, y'all. Keep, we ain't get to that. Keep going to the gym, y'all. Britt, what's, what's, what's your uh preference? Um, <laughs> I'm trying to get shy now. Wait, why put her head down? I know, that's what I'm saying. She said, I was. Um, I don't have anything against a skinny dude nothing mm-hmm. me personally um <laughs> most i ain't skinny don't put your hand on me i'm big i'm big go ahead go ahead go ahead I'm go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. um i like a thicker guy okay. but do i i do have a discretion of how thick you yeah. can be like if you're not like huffing and puffing it would be a no for me uh, but like uh, you know uh, just like some dudes be like oh only like thick chicks you know yeah, yeah. something cool and like i don't want to be too explicit but if i'm on you i'm not trying to like my thighs are bones. thick i'm not trying to feel your bones on yeah. my thighs you like a little me? little comfy. you know some yeah you know, i got you something some, you can some tug pushing on. for pushing but <laughs> as far as like weight wise on the thicker side, like you just gonna have to eat some steak and potatoes. You know, get that weight up. Um, color preference, I really don't care, but normally um, brown skin, like brown skin dudes. Um, taller than me, I'm five five, so you don't have to be like six five or nothing like that. But just some definitely taller than me. I don't want to be looking at you like this and weird, you know, argument. You know, I want like to be able to look up. You know, right. Yeah, I want to look up at you, not look. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I want to look up. But, um, <laughs> you know, like, that, I mean, far as, like, appearance-wise, okay. thicker side, taller than me, um, color preference, I really don't have one, but I have never met messed up like a high yellow dude. Oh, wow. Why well, like you, you guys have two glasses for y'all? No, just saying. Not like this. Right. <laughs> it's like, you gotta have some melanin somewhere. <laughs> But, um, they say like a <laughs> <laughs> You know what's funny about what you said? Two girls said something to me about um a guy, they like a guy with a little they think as a certain stomach they like with a nigga. I was dying laughing when I heard it. Because it's true. They you don't even have to tell me because it's 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 sounds crazy. It's fucking popped up in my head. It's like you can have it's not a 
like as long as the stomach is not like stupid protruding over your, you know, your your, your belt. So basically, oh, what y'all saying, y'all, you, you need to be able to see your feet. Exactly. Yeah, okay. If you're so up in the but she's like a whole pudge though. Right here, that yeah. back bill with that line in the back that got his feet half. <laughs> I said this on, on Twitter before, and I think I said in that episode before. Let me know if I didn't acknowledge, but I see made a statement that if you, like how you said, you're willing to, like, deal with whoever, not yeah, anybody, not but yeah, I know, I was trying to say yeah. it in a nice way, <laughs> but I feel like certain women should not allow certain niggas to, to touch get them. them. Right. At all. And Wait, what? But that's, Certain niggas but should that's, not be able to get you. Right. So sure. that's not based oh, on how you look. That's based on how you look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just levels. Sometimes it's 
it's not hard to slip up. And yeah. True. Yeah. True. Yeah. True. Yeah. It's not yeah. hard to slip up, but True. once you it's check yourself, you won't go back again. Okay. 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 Once you check yourself, you won't okay. go back again. Right. I've, and I've, I've heard, I've dealt with a female that, that a person she dealt with before. She's like, I was going through something at that time. Yeah. He was somebody that was doing something that made me feel better. I can respect yeah. that. We but if you let these... Yeah, I like to say this thing. You finished the fire and said it. These corn balls and these lames in my eyes. In my eyes. I'm not gonna say everybody else looks at them the same way. Mm -hmm. So I'm I I don't be judgmental. But if I look at you like, damn, yo, she see that. And I'll be like, you take this corn ball ass thing and get you. I'm I'm gonna judge you a little bit. I ain't gonna lie. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep it from you. Yeah. Keep it going, Jeff. Yeah. Do women do the same thing? Yeah. yeah. Okay. 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 Like, yeah. But like a double edged sword because you don't know the history that person has with that. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. That's a fact. Yeah. But if there's no history, I don't want to hear it. I've just been sometimes like, dog, like, shorty stayed down. She stayed down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. That's, that's, yeah. She stayed down. And that should happen. That should happen. But at the same time, like, when it's history, I I mean, I had a, a guy friend that told me, like, you know, it's not that he or she wants to stay with that person. It's just that it's so much time invested. That's why yeah. you're just there. You're true. So that's a true. different story. Definitely, yeah. we see yeah. that a lot, Brent. We see men, oh, this is a good gem I'm about to drop. <laughs> men <laughs> know ahead. how to get into shit, but they don't know how to get out. That's a fact. It's a yeah. fact. That's a fact. I'll admit that. I'll admit yeah. that. Women no, no, women won't that. leave a nigga. Let no, me I'll leave. And I don't trust really. men who say, oh, you know, me and my baby mother not together. I want to know, okay, is she done with you? Because niggas don't be done, okay? True. True. They will stay true. around true. until the kids. women That's has true. the last day. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. It could be in relationships and anything. Yeah. Like, it's very rare when you see a man be like, no, like, yeah, I really, unless you did some trifling that shit, mm. it's really rare when you see It'd be a hard. man. It's a comfort zone. Right. It's they don't leave. Zone. Women yeah. have to leave. Women you, have to leave. Right? When you know a person, know a person, then you know what's going to come with you. It ain't really too much surprising that, that you're going to get at right. a certain amount of time. Mm. I think. I do. Yeah. But when you get that surprise and then fuck your head up, then you be like, oh shit. Mm -hmm. What the fuck did I do this time to get me? Because, <laughs> like I said before, I said before in another episode, when a woman is done, they done. done. You know, fuck your head up. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie, I've been there before and I've been like, sick. Yeah. I, I've been sick. sick. I ain't gonna lie. Sick. It'll do it to you. It's, it's, one time in your life, or maybe one, two times. Four for me, y'all. Maybe four for I ain't trying to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to win it. Everybody play the fool at, at, at some point. Yeah. At some point. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like, say it, nigga. I don't ever consider a heartbreak a heartbreak. You will die from that. I call it a heartache because okay. eventually okay, you'll get Jill. over it. Okay, I like that. But it's like after you go through all that time, all that, you know, sick in the bed, don't yeah. want to get up. You know, after that, you. You Bounce gotta come a beast yeah, after yeah, out of yeah, it. Like, yeah. you got to, and it's go full guys, too. That's why some guys are just a piece of shit. And that's why some True. women, like, they got so and many. Some niggas. women are a piece of shit, too. I mean, oh, yeah. don't yeah. get it twisted. But women <laughs> are a <laughs> good piece of shit. <laughs> women are a good piece of shit. Too. No, not all of them. No. Yeah. We, we, that's a whole other time. We, we can get into that if y'all want. We can I get into crazy. that. I ain't got no back of the day. Now I'm in there, but we can get into it. Oh, we can get into it. I, I, I ain't gonna lie. You just I know. That. No, because all y'all know, know, all y'all know some whores, and I don't call women Ooh, bees and whores now, but y'all do know some whores. We got some favorable women out here. Yeah, but it's not necessarily about sex. No, I, 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 and I ain't even. I'm not even saying whores. Something about women. No, when I say whores, you know some trifling. It's just trifling people in the world. Yeah, I mean all that. Yeah, okay. The sex, the just how you treat people, you deal with you, and I, I've been a. Lately, I ain't gonna lately. In the past few years, I've learned that you you know you get what you put out, and the universe will give you that shit whether you like it or not. Yeah. So I've been on the tip to to do right by people. Of course, ain't nobody perfect. You'll fuck up, but you know it gets critical. So you mm -hmm. know, but it's some people that don't give a fuck. They'll mm -hmm. keep going. Some people feel like when they do certain shit, they just gonna keep going and moving because I already did so much. And, 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 and that's, that's, like, that's not even please, that's karma. karma yeah, yeah, let's like, like karma deal with it. I ain't gonna deal with it. I've seen it so many times where karma knocks somebody on the ass. Yeah, and, and that's on you. I, yeah. I've yeah. talked about this before, like leaving relationships and understanding like the lesson that you got out of it, mm -hmm. and knowing like if somebody do you wrong, it's that's on them. Like True. I gave yeah. my best self in this yeah. situation, yeah. or in this that's relationship, and I gave my love. 
Yeah. You that you needed that at the time, and whatever happens after that, that's right. on you. You know what I'm saying? We got. I, I'm gonna go into the next question, but that is a question that I want to ask y'all. I had this outside of the podcast, but I ain't never asked on it. I had a quite. I had a conversation with somebody about um. They was they was talking about somebody that like like how you said reached out. Mm-hmm. Like both of y'all said, reached out once some trying to get like information or, or basically like knowledge on something. And their response was like, I'm not gonna do it because you know how niggas like they was shaky about it because it's like you don't know how niggas is, like niggas, you know niggas cut or whatever, whatever. And I and I was like, that's a fact. But I told them, like, you know, at the end of the day, what you do what your intentions are. So if you give somebody some game, and that's why, and I remember Larry said something about this too about Charging people for information, Absolutely. which is consulting, yes, which is consulting. It's, mm-hmm. it's inevitable. Like, y'all need to do it. We need to get on that. We need to but but listen, hear me out. I feel like like what you said in that type of situation. When it comes to that, I feel like okay, well maybe I do need to charge. But I feel like if we don't help each other out, if we don't help each other out as well, who else is going to help us? Because that's why we end up in these situations ourselves. Mm-hmm. Well, but let me, I'm gonna let you okay. go. But let me. Let, but when I said to him, I was like, you know. But if you helping this dude or you giving him information and, you, and your intentions is, you know, you can benefit off this and not going to benefit off of it too. Well, if he cut your throat, he do something cruddy, that's on him. It is what it is. But at the end of the day, how do y'all feel about helping people and, and just knowing that, you know, how people are? Like you said, you feel like you should charge. Some people might feel like they don't. I definitely feel like, like if you're coming, it's a business. Consulting is a business. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. But if you feel like Helping people, period, like relationship, business, shit, all that type of shit. Does it should it come with some kind of fee type of thing? I feel like go ahead, Bert. Go ahead, because you've been looking. But I, I want to say one thing. <laughs> I, I want to say because when she said her thing, I, I did pop in my head like, damn, you do have the blueprint, obviously. Mm-hmm. Where okay, now you can package that shit. Uh, your and blueprint sell that. and sell that. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So I mean, it's, it's a double edged sword. It's a thin line where you kind of you figure out how to do it, but eventually I feel like it does need to be done. Why? Mm-hmm. I have this knowledge or mm-hmm. I have this gift. I feel like something that I got is a gift. Like, yeah. So, yeah, there should be a time where I boss my shit up or however, and I say, this is my service that I provide, uh-huh. and y'all let it leverage. Like, how many times we, we came to more like, yo, get, get do a flight for us. She was like, look, this mm-hmm. is an opportunity to put myself in a different, you know, lane. So uh-huh. let me go ahead and do that. So I think... And my like, friends pay for everything. We pay for our shit. We yeah, don't just say more. Yo, do this. No, I'm sending over yeah. a cash app. Yo, I need you to do this. So I think it's, it's a, a service fee. Definitely. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can pay, pay for everything. It won't stop, yo. This shit is draining. It's taking away from my time to create. It's taking away from my time with my family. Mm-hmm. And people are intrusive. Right. Like that. Like, you coming into my face sucking up my uh, Sunday or uh-huh. Saturday and you're ungrateful. That's so, That's you know what I'm saying? It is, I think that is the part of us where we don't know when to charge for our shit. You okay. know what I'm saying? Okay. We kind of like, oh, okay. you know, I think it just boils down to people don't want to do the work. They yeah, know, yeah, like, yeah. people don't want to do the work because I don't necessarily feel like I have a master blueprint of how to do business. I just know how I want to be treated in business. And it was mm-hmm. just common sense. It's not even like a blueprint. It's just like common sense. Mm-hmm. Like, say you're welcome and thank you. Right, and right, right, right. Like, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it doesn't common make any, Yeah, it's just common, common courtesy. Like, things that you should just be practicing in your day-to-day life mm-hmm. outside of you making money to some capacity. Mm-hmm. Um, because I give out free game on my Instagram, on my Black Fox Fez mm-hmm. Instagram. Mm-hmm. Thank you. I create things like, okay, here, this is a... Like, people will ask like, oh... What should I do? How should I start? Oh, if you go back on my page just a little bit, you like I have a whole post on how, like the okay. three things that how you can start a business mm-hmm. or how can you, you know, the, like, and, and, and you got to also, when starting businesses, you got to figure out why you're doing it. Right. A lot of people don't ask themselves, why am I doing this? Yeah. Outside of money, why am I doing this? Mm-hmm. And this is why I said Baltimore don't need another streetwear brand. Because they do it for clout. Because, yes. Because why are you yeah. doing this? Doing if you no never, yeah, if you never you. work in retail, mm-hmm. if you not fly, mm-hmm. if you ain't never worked mm-hmm. in customer service, yeah. mm-hmm. if you don't know what designers this are the outside of the ones that you see in this city, yeah. this is not the lane for you. This yeah. is not it. And it's like, you got to have in order to, and the, the, the reason why I, some of them succeed and some of them don't is because of the lack of creativity mm-hmm. and you got to be a creative person. And I'm an artist first before anything. Okay. So I'm always looking at everything from an artist standpoint, no matter what. Yeah. So I can look at stuff and be like, that ain't it. Uh-huh. And I had conversations with my homeboys. I'm like, that ain't it. That ain't it, bro. So I can cut you off. 
last night we mm-hmm. were talking about local brands, me and my friend, mm-hmm. and it was like a new arrival for this person post. And I was like, oh, he must knew that wasn't it because I don't even see that on his page no more. Mm-hmm. He must have took it off. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was like, it was, you know, it's, I'm a like, I'm a minimalist, so it's like it's one or the other. Mm-hmm. It's either you want to have it here mm-hmm. or you want to have it here. You don't mm-hmm. need it here, yeah, here, yeah, here, yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Cut it off. Yeah, and so yeah. when I went on the page, I said, oh, somebody must told him that that wasn't it yeah. because yeah. Yeah. I don't see the shit right No, right. you got to be, you got to have a reason as to why you want to do this. And it's so much other things in Baltimore, that Baltimore lacks that people can put their money into mm-hmm. other than mm-hmm. putting streetwear and making t-shirts because you feel like the other people have done it. Yeah. And these people that are doing it have done it for a very, very long yeah, time. It's, the work. Exactly. it's like the work is mm-hmm. like in it. Like it's yeah. not about popularity. It's not about everybody. It's create, it's yeah, strictly, it's strictly creativity. Yeah. It's like me, like I get what you're saying. Like, say, when you come out with hats, you have your hats, you're established, and somebody else come out with hats, like, okay, both y'all sell hats, but what are you going to do to make it eye-catching for me? Right. You get what I'm saying? Like, we all can sell the same thing, yeah, but yeah. what is going to really make, make me it different from the next her, whatever, yeah. you know, stand yeah. out? So I get that. But like, sometimes it can be oversaturated with people doing the same thing, but it's like, but what is going to make me pop? Right. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. What, you what, what is going to set me mm-hmm. apart from somebody else? And like if people like don't worry about your competition, you should worry about your competition gotcha. because your competition is worried about you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm not saying you should be fully invested in like what they post today. Gotta be mindful. You, know, you right. gotta be mindful. Right. Like, okay, right. I see that she got this. I'm gonna see how I'm gonna change that and make it. You know, mm-hmm. right. you know, for right. me, because when people say they don't worry about your competition, I'm like, you, you gotta be mine. Like, <laughs> you gotta be a lot of like Gucci ain't worried about Louis. How much shit do they have that's really the, the same, same exactly. but it's a different name? Right. Right. That's yeah. how I look at it. That's, that's, yeah. that's a good But word. to go mm-hmm. back to when somebody hopped in my DM about lip gloss, and I'm just like, damn, I just dropped like a month ago. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, it's like, I'm not, you know, I'm not there. I know I'm gonna get there, but I ain't there yet. Yeah. And so, but my humble thoughts came to me like, well, how did I get started? I reached mm-hmm. out to somebody who used to sell gloss, but not like on my level, but she gave me a vendor and I like the vendor. That's the vendor I use right now. So that's in the back of my head. So of course I'm not giving you my vendor. Mm-hmm. I'll I was like, I'll, here's the boss pal. <laughs> <laughs> they have vendors you can pick from <laughs> Thank you. and you can go from the head. Yeah. And then like yeah. you keep pulling and pulling. She was like, well, I'll pay you. I'm like, no, look, that's I said, like, you know, yeah, I appreciate yeah. it. But at the same time, it's like, I can't give you the same energy that I'm yeah. working on myself Absolutely. Right now. People will ask me, oh, I want to do this, do this. I'm can you make it? I'm confused. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like, you're bucking. Like, are you on cocaine? Is it the cocaine? Because <laughs> it's got to be. Gotta be. Gotta be. <laughs> because, yeah, the cheap one. Because you, you're still talking. And your crack puts you down. So right. You're still talking. Good boss one, though. Like, like you like people who ask me like oh well can you be my 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 manufacturer for my brand i'm like no and they like oh well it's gonna be different i'm like no i don't have time to create for you're you you're selling yourself and create short for when myself. you ask people that yeah you're, they're yeah. definitely selling their so short like you're like, like, why would want you want to do it yourself yeah. People are lazy. They don't want to do the work. They're lazy. People rather right. spend all this money versus like, oh, so I need it to do the work. Like, just do your own work. You and, you're gonna, right. and you're going to come out with le- like less headache and less money lost if you just do the work yourself. Mm-hmm. I just told my um, homeboy, I was like, don't pay for nothing that you can do yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, Until you get to a capacity where you can't actually handle it, there's no reason why you shouldn't be making your Even own Even if you got the money. Yeah, no, keep that money. Keep the money. Right. I just watched um the guy who do FUBU, uh Damien, I forgot his last name, but the guy who used to do I know you talking about. He was like, why are people asking for all of this money when they want to start like a, a startup? Don't mm-hmm. ask for no money. Like, use the money. Cut back mm-hmm. on whatever you got going on. Use the money. Use your own money. Mm-hmm. If you lose it or don't work out, guess what? You don't have to worry about paying people back. Right. Because when you look for investors, right. people will be like, all right, I want to expand this. Yeah, I, I want to expand that. They want their return back. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they like, all right, well, I want my return. But if you come out with something else, you still got to figure out how yeah. we going to get that money back. You and got yourself in the bond. Yeah, and I'm not giving you more money. <laughs> That's so it's like, it's no point for people to be like, oh, I need all of this money. I, I need all this money. Like, you can start small and just keep yeah. grinding and yeah. be consistent. Yeah. 
mm -hmm. you it doesn't make sense for people to be like, oh, I pay you for you to make my stuff. No, that that's psychotic. Goes back to I'm, I'm uh, one of my favorite books is Mastery by Robert Greene, and he okay. kind of talks about how to master right. your craft. Mm -hmm. This is like my Bible. I should have bought it because I almost bought it. It's so crazy, but they talk about. You have to get a mentor, and I think that that's what people yeah, lack. That's, that's why you come into my DM asking me questions because you don't have a mentor. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You figure out what you want to do, and it is beneficial to find someone, possibly like Brittany said, like, oh, I know someone who possibly did this before, mm -hmm. or somebody who just has more knowledge than me that yeah. I can tap into. Really, yeah. we can exchange and pour, and it's not no quick time by oh, hopping in my DM. It's value. It's 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 crucial to find yeah. a mentor. Everybody needs need, help. Yeah. yeah. Nobody can do it on their own. Nobody, Nobody can do it by themselves. No matter who it is. But you right. know what? I think the thing is, people got to realize, like, the... The reality is you just literally have to do your work and surround yourself by mm -hmm. reading and taking in information mm -hmm. constantly. Right. Like, great. Like, use social media to your advantage. Everything that you see on social media does not have to be negative. It ain't got to be women twerking. It ain't got to yeah. be people out mm -hmm. every Chris. It ain't got to be clothes. And I mean, some of that is my social media, but it's also things that I need, that I want to feed my brain and right. my spirit mm -hmm. and my soul. A lot of stuff that people see on their social media and their feed of uh, people dying and stuff like that, I don't see it. I know what's going on. I'm tapped into it. But I don't see that. Uh -huh. And when the um the judge, the uh, I forgot her name that quick, RGB, yeah. her initials, I forgot her, I think it's Ruth. Uh, it's R B G or R G B one. R G B. We know it's called. Yeah. But yeah, she just passed away. Um, and she did a lot for like women's rights and a lot of things that we literally didn't have rights to. She made it happen right. on a you know in the in the court system. And That's it was so thing. many. It was so many people reposting her, and I was like, I'm so glad I follow quality people. I'm yeah, so glad yeah, I'm seeing yeah. white women cross my page <laughs> because it's people that's on Instagram. They don't know what's going they on. They don't know yeah. who she is. I, said, I learned she died on title. Yeah, <laughs> but, but the thing is, but this is the type of, and that's why I say I don't follow everybody because honestly, I don't want to see what everybody posting. Like it'd be yeah. too much. Some people are like not immune to people. Like people who post somebody dying on their page. Yeah, I don't yeah, watch yeah. people dying. I don't look at people dying. It's not normal. You ain't supposed to be looking at it. You're not supposed to be taking it in. You're not supposed to be taking that in. There are people around you yeah. that be just as hungry or just as tapped in as you. And right. That's the real shit. And so you, all my friends around me are creators. Yeah. All of them. Everybody doing yeah, something. I want to be around people big, that are little me. Doing exactly. Like, right. I want to feel inspired by the people that I'm directly connected to. Y'all yeah. got to inspire me. Y'all got to push me. Y'all got to check me. Mm -hmm. Yo, that ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like that. that is but even outside of that, like just follow people that you don't know that's like good in business. Yeah. 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 Like in finance. Mm -hmm. Like I follow uh, John Henry. I follow Gary V. I follow right. Retail Boss. Mm -hmm. I follow these, all of these different people that, yeah, like I follow these different people that, and because I follow them, I get flagged other pages where I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. their yeah. notes and their pinpoints are really good. Uh -huh. Like not That's until, scary. not until this year when I was following retail boss, I figured out how to pay myself when making hats mm -hmm. and still make a profit. Like I can still take a little bit of change for me personally because uh -huh. of my time and I'm hand physically sewing everything that I put out. And versus, and also still being able to buy back my product or you know put the money back into my mm -hmm. business. Mm -hmm. So like I just started learning how to like really do that and like, okay. and I knew how to do it because I worked in retail before and you know just in fashion merchandise and all that. I went to school for it and all that. Mm -hmm. But I really started learning how to do it just this year because of the people that I follow and the type of pages that I follow. Mm -hmm. Like people be like, oh, it's just Instagram. No, nah, you're not yeah. using Instagram to yeah, your yeah, advantage. Yeah, it's yeah, way yeah. bigger That's what it's than for. you're using it. That's what and it's, it's really like, for. yeah, it's like promote your baby. You got something promoted. When I people be like, oh, I got a business, da, da, da. I'll be like, all right, where your Instagram page at? Mm -hmm. People don't even care about if you got a website. Mm -hmm. And I'll be like, that's where the money comes through at. Like the website, I'm not funneling my stuff through Insta, you know, my, my money through Instagram. Like, I'm not cashing. Yeah, like don't yeah, no, nah, I got a website, I got free shipping. Unfortunately, if you don't have a debit card or a credit card or a place of residence, maybe you shouldn't be buying my hat. Maybe you should be kind of working, maybe you should be kind of working towards something else where you have a you know what I mean? Like I can't and people be like, Oh wow, can you meet up? No, bro, I'm a female I'm a woman. Yeah, I first of all, number one, I'm a woman, I'm not meeting you yeah, nowhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't got time for it. I don't even like drive don't it like even that. Take the chance. No, nah, it's going in the mail. And if you don't got no way for me to mail it, mm -hmm. I don't know what to tell you. Right. Like I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. I'll yeah. drop it one spot and one spot only. And if you can't meet me at that spot or you don't want to go in that spot, I I don't know what to tell you. You yeah. gotta find you gotta get yeah, it mailed. It is. I'm not doing it. I'm an online business and that's it. Right. Like I'm not about to have no shop, no time soon. I don't okay. even think I want one. 
But I mean, I'm an online business, so I carry it as such, and you gotta do everything online. Mm -hmm. That's an extra one. They say you going off. Period. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. she won't. Because the thing is, what she did. Because this the thing is though, like honestly and truly, like I try to be professional as possible and nice as possible mm -hmm. and personal as possible because you never know. Like I don't want. First of all, I I I have a business. So I don't want anybody to ever be like, oh, she rude, da, da, da. Because honestly and truly, I'm the type of person, if you rude to me, and I know you sell hair, mm -hmm. lip gloss, Tic Tacs, eyelashes, <laughs> we're not buying none of that stuff from you because you're rude. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I, so always people, that. I always say that. So when people meet me, I like to be nice, so yeah. you know what I, and sometimes you know people take coming your, with it. Yeah, and some mm -hmm. people will try to play with you and take your kindness for weakness yeah, and be like, for sorry sure. to that pop-up shop. Yeah. But here, <laughs> nor there, here, nor there, here, nor there, we're going to move on from that, but the thing is, the girls will try to play with you and you have to let them know that you're not to be played with but okay. however you know i try to be as personable as possible but you yeah. know sometimes you gotta let people know like hey don't play with me i don't play about my business yeah, yeah, yeah. and if and you can't respect, respect it. it yeah and if you can't respect it move around i don't need you around me because i was, i had uh i made this thing about that before when when lion dollar was up here about people who try to get you to um you know, bitch went with that support black business shit, but mm -hmm. at the end of the day, you gotta have respectable business. Like, you don't want to, I don't want to support you just because you're black. I yeah. want to support you because you got quality, because mm -hmm. you're doing something good, yeah, and because you're, service. yeah, your service, even if I don't like your product or, or your food or something, I might support you twice because you treated me nice when mm -hmm. I bought your food. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It might, you might have cooked it wrong that time. I'll take a chance again versus right. if you just give me some shit and then be like, right. oh, I ain't got it, and whatever, whatever. But, Back to the nitty gritty. We we cut. We getting close to the cut all the time. We gotta run this back, please, y'all. Hey. I know, I know, it man. It's sixty minutes go by so quick. It is. But but to to back to the top of the list, right? On y'all seen, I said it's cheating a rich man's sport. Mm. <laughs> How y'all feel about that question? Indeed. I've yeah. seen, I've seen, I've seen people say the various people like someone said out of their mouth, and I was, it kind of fucked my head up. When he said, I'm willing to accept certain things if he's provided. And to me, I said this before in the episode. If you tell me like a chick said to me before, if you're doing something, and I guess it's just being, well, I ain't going to say being real because you got to be optimistic in a relationship. But if you say you think niggas going to cheat regardless or whatever, if you yeah, change my mind about that. But yeah, she I'm said, sure. listen, let me finish. Cause she said, <laughs> If I don't, as long as I don't find out, so you're telling me basically just be more careful when I'm doing my thing. Mm, I'm, I'm not telling you like anything, that. but don't tell me that because I'm gonna tell you don't cheat. Period. Plain and simple. First of all, you shouldn't cheat. <laughs> like, you shouldn't, no. you shouldn't like, no. cheat. Period. <laughs> Man, women, regardless if you got a lot of money, a little bit of money, you shouldn't cheat on somebody that you're committed to. Okay. However, I agree. I me thing. personally. <laughs> I feel like a man that has money, who who able to move mountains and and do what he got to do, and there's no lacking financially on his end, he cheats. Nothing can change my mind about that. Regardless, I'm with him or without him, it's like he's going to cheat. Not saying I'm assuming like, oh my god, he's cheating on me. No, it's it's always going to be in the back of my mm -hmm. head. Mm -hmm. But you know, I, I'll move forward. But it's like if if it ever came to me, I'd be like, <sighs> you think Russell Wilson cheat on Sierra? It's possible. <laughs> it's possible. 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 It's a woman's cheat is a different from a man's cheat. A man cheat could be really sleeping with other females. A mm -hmm. woman cheat could be like, oh, I went to have a drink at the bar. You right. know, no no type of sex is going on. But cheating is cheating because mm -hmm. I would look at you crazy if I found out my nigga is at the bar sure. with a bitch. Like, I, yeah, I would come at, I would feel crazy. But at the same time, like, if I, any man that but has money cheats. Can I know y'all got something to say. Hold y'all, don't forget. But I will say, I'll show you this on another episode. There are ones that do that and provide and do all that, and a woman will cheat because she's not getting that attention no more because he's doing everything else. Too. Exactly. That's true. They drag it and they be like, but I mean, it is what it is. I think as we get older, it's like we get, I think it's important <laughs> to go into relationships and you communicate effectively what works for you and what don't. I think I we go into relationships with a whole set of standards. 
from some shit that may not work for you. Mm-hmm. Some, you know what I'm saying? Like, some niggas don't know how to just be honest with themselves or women. Like, yo, I'm really not into monogamy. But this is what I am into. Life partnership. And this is what I'm looking for. And yeah. Yeah, you know, no, I, I am. I feel like a lifetime friend is what I would want. Like, just a lifetime. You know, yeah. I, feel, I don't want to be 40 years old. Like, oh, that's my boyfriend. Like, yeah. 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 I don't want to be 40 years old. 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 I don't want Marriage is bigger than just a ring or that's my wife. It's a partnership. Yeah, it's a life thing. Change. And with life, we yeah. change. We develop. We grow. We evolve. I may not want the same shit I wanted 10 years ago, but I might want to do life with you forever. Okay. So I think it's important. See, that's why communication, y'all, is very... I agree. It's, it's, I agree. It's, 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 it's definitely important, but I think, like, people be Number taking, re- people be taking like, re- boyfriend and girlfriend relationships, like, way, like... They take them serious and you should take them serious, but they be taking them way too serious. Like, serious. Yeah, and it's just like, first of all, if we just boyfriend and girlfriend and you keep cheating, nigga, I'm leaving. What are we talking about? Especially if I got no kids with you. Yeah. Bro, I'm leaving. What are we yeah. doing? This is yeah. ridiculous. No time, now, if we are married, then yeah, we got some other things to talk about. Mm-hmm. And a lot of times, like cheating, even in marriages, te- cheating is not a deal breaker for a lot of people right. in marriage. Yeah, exactly. And that's a lot, and, and a lot of people go into it thinking they like, oh, I'm gonna be good, I'm gonna be all right. But it's like it's old people that's married 40 plus years mm. and their husbands might have cheated once or twice or whatever mm. have you and they still together and they still you know still working and still growing and still learning and yeah. really loving each other mm. and a lot of people don't want to do the work in these relationships to build up to marriage to continue to do work because marriage is work mm-hmm. like Thank it's constant you. constant work it's either you're going to be married for two years or you're going to be married for 20 or you're going to be married for 50 and some people get to year 12 and want a divorce and you be like dang but eight of those years y'all wasn't growing together y'all yeah, wasn't yeah, really yeah, communicating. yeah y'all wasn't communicating yeah. it was something it was something there that's missing and something lacking and you gotta grow with that person you gotta try to find ways to re-love that person mm-hmm. constantly what every day mean? because yeah. every day is gonna be something different mm-hmm. and is people marriage, think cheating is marriage necessary um i think if i'm in a situation with the same person or a relationship with the same person i think initially um you know i'm not like I'm not that person be like, oh, I need to, I need to be married type right. vibes. Like I'm so right. content with being the rich auntie, the, you know, <laughs> I'm, those are my vibes. I'm so content with it. But I think if I'm with a person for eight years or longer than eight years or longer than five years, initially, uh, eventually we're going to be like, all right, so we finna get married. Like we finna like make this a thing. And people be like, oh, marriage is just like fine. First of all, I'm Christian. So marriage is not finance for me. Marriage is a, 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 a spiritual, religion, a spiritual right. thing spiritual for me. Thing for me under God so it's just like and I expect somebody that's and a lot of men even when they marry they just don't cheat like some people are really spiritually yeah. connected in that way and they like no I'm not gonna yeah, cheat I'm like, like, if I, I ever get married if, if he's, he's not he's like, like, that's like, like yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. I mean <laughs> I don't come do that. from a, a family who all get married um you know my grandparents they were married yeah. for 61 years my mother and father like my father wasn't in my life majority up until like age 20 but you know they were still married mm-hmm. for you know 20 21 years you know right. marriage is a big thing for my family but me personally i'm not craving to change my last name at all right but if i get somebody to come in my life change my whole mindset my whole hell life. yeah fuck it yeah. why not like this is this is what was meant for me mm-hmm. but yeah. honestly how i look at it in my 30 plus years of living is like lifetime friend lifetime partners that's how i right, look right. at it in the future yeah, i think oh we're like literally in a generation and i we all literally have the same kind of mindset about marriage and i'm also a person i don't come from marriage my parents were together yeah. for 21 years like mm-hmm. live we I, my parents were together forever they never were married like so i kind of have that like i've seen my parents do it you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. in a way that it made sense to me but also, growing up, I'm like, dang, why didn't my mother marry my? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. it's kind of double edged sword. But again, yeah, my son is like, why you got my same last name? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you just figure out what works for you. Like yeah, I think yeah, we yeah. are putting all of these societal shit on our plate that we don't want to eat. Right. And then we eating that shit, right. and we getting right. sick, and we yeah. wondering why. Like why is it not working? It's yeah, not for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, if this yeah, shit is like, yeah. it's about finding yourself. I know it goes back to some cliche bullshit, but 
figure out who the fuck you are and what Real you want. Shit. And you know what I'm saying? What happier. you require, what you desire, go out and find a person that aligns with that yeah. and y'all get it. You feel yeah. me? Y'all you'll, it'll, you'll be a lot happier if you exactly. do that. Do exactly. Right. And I don't care who I'm marrying. I'm hyphenating my last name. <laughs> I'm keeping yours. Yeah, yeah, I'm keeping mine because the, by the time we get to that space, I'm going to already be like, Lit, like I'm gonna already be a name, so I mean, I'm just putting that in the world. <laughs> no, you are, amen. but yeah, 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 like, but that's that. you are, but that's the reality yeah, of it. Like, I'm like, like you're gonna have to, like, if you if you really like in the next five years, you're gonna have to, it's gonna be had to be hyphenated. Like, it's gonna be fans of us. I also like my last name, I like my family's like, culture, <laughs> I, like and, like, my <laughs> I like my family's culture yeah. and legacy yeah. and history and everything like that. Like, I, I want to keep my last name, but I don't mind adding yours on there. Like, I don't mind being Mrs. Dad, mm -hmm. but mm, you definitely going to gonna see both names. <laughs> <laughs> or, both yeah. names on the paper. You definitely going to see both names. I, 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 my thing was my, my stance on marriage. I'm not I'm not against it, but I'm not eager to it because I feel like everything is blown out of a push when married. But my partner, like if I'm rocking really with you. If yeah. I'm rocking with you and we know what it is, like if that's what you desire, I'm, I'm more than willing to yeah, get it to you. Yeah, I see you two of my homeboys kind of do that. Where it's like, this is my bitch forever. Yeah. But if this is so what you want, I'm going to get, you know what I'm saying? So why not? It don't really make no sense I'm not gonna, to. Right, yeah. exactly. It don't really do make it right. no sense. But that's, that's how I would prefer to do it. If, if that's what she desires and I know that's who I'm, like, we both know, mm -hmm. there's no question. Yeah. And once I get to that point, then that's what it is. I don't mind that. If you upset that I won't take your last name, you gotta get it. I don't give a fuck about that shit. shit. Yeah. I don't give a fuck about that shit. Yeah. And I'm like, bro, is your last name even that lit to be taken? Like, <laughs> right. oh, come on, yo. It's like, yeah. you come from. Yeah, you got like a real generic last name. Bro. Like, it's not even that serious. So, I, I wish, I mean, I wish we had more time to finish it. If y'all were willing to come back I'm for willing, a part two, please. We definitely are willing. But, but, um. Listen, I want a man. We need, yeah, we do. Yeah, not, yeah. not, 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 whoop you up, but I need another <laughs> nigga right here. Because I need an ignorant nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I planned that, but I told y'all before we started this. No, I think, I think one is, is enough because it gets real ridiculous in here. It gets. So we cool. need the ridiculousness. No. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to have me somebody. All right, somebody okay, right cool, cool. That'll work. So, too ridiculous. in closing, we could go around y'all and drop y'all social medias and how people can get in contact, especially for y'all services they try and get in, into. So whoever want to kick it off, I'll go first. Y'all can um, y'all can shop with me at Black Box Ads. <laughs> like I don't know if you want to get my person because I'm tired. <laughs> like y'all can come shop with me at Black Box Ads on Instagram and also uh, www.blackboxads.com. Um, if you need any graphic services, you can find me at uh, It's Glitter Duh. That's It's Glitter Duh. <laughs> <laughs> it, made, it sounded like you were saying uh -huh. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh -huh. Play the words you heard. Yeah, I yeah. told y'all I'm creative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And go. I'm good with the words, yeah. too. I like she a rapper for real. My poetry coming. <laughs> I have in the roster, I would say. That's who then is creative, honestly and truly. <laughs> All right, you, go ahead, babe. You up next. I like it. Um, you can follow me at Brittany B R I T T A N Y. The correct way to spell Brittany. <laughs> uh, on Instagram, you can book mobile bartender services, Rich Cocktails LLC, or Rich Cocktail Kids on Instagram. Um, you can shop BrittanyBeauty.net. Um, glosses are in stock, but the most requested Prosecco and Cabo are out of stock right now. But they will be stocked. Mm -hmm. September 25th with two new colors. Oh, yes. That's next week. Yeah, next week. Yeah. I'm happy, y'all. It's Friday. Everybody's yeah. Okay. Black is about to be almost sold out. What colors? How many colors sold out, too? Uh, just one. Uh, but the, the, the next one, yeah, the next one about to sell out. No, it's yeah. really is. The tame one is actually, the tame one is actually about to sell out. Yeah. And I got two other colors left, so. Yeah. Cop up. Yeah. Last but not least, it's me, C. Love is my Instagram. Lovebirdsea.com is my website. Catch the Vibe is my um, business Instagram. You're able to book me for those personal vibe sessions. Now, book me now. <laughs> yeah, y'all need to learn how to take them goddamn Instagram pictures. And I'm here to I might need to take one for you. Let me see your work. Can I get a free one for yeah, today? Yeah, I can All right, I'll just take my picture. Give me one. I will, I will okay. give a before and after. Actually, okay. I'll, I'll post it on my story, y'all, so y'all be able to see what I did from moving. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, yeah, I need that. Yeah. Set, y'all, set y'all girls' nights up. Yeah. Set, yes, I'm down for it all. And I have some great energy, guys, as you can see. And like she okay. said, a cool birthday. date night event, it too. Is. So, it yeah, is. You, you might it see the lady that you want. Night, birthday parties, all of that. I'm quite sure you might see the lady that you're interested in on Instagram at this event. So. Oh, yeah, because the girls love me. That's yeah. one thing. <laughs> y'all y'all girlfriends be in my DM. They ask me all kinds of about y'all niggas. Okay, so, okay. okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Keep That's it on a hush hush. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, in closing, this is a great one. We definitely going to do a part two. I have a whole lot more to ask, so. And closing this episode 38. We need to ask the call 39. I'm 39. Sorry, I'm <laughs> that one's that 40. Okay, yo, that's 40. So we're going to be the part two ne next Sunday. Whenever y'all free, we can, we can put on. the schedule in there. Next Sunday. In closing, yeah. we need answers podcast. We out. Right.